Um, the shrimp. Aga kong gumising, nakapadyama pa ako. It's Christmas Day at gumawa po ako ng paella. Gumawa po ako ako ng paella. Pero sinaseparate ko na yung uh, mga toppings. Ito lang ano ito, ito ah. Big shrimp, prawns, sug po, remove the antenna, but shell on, salt and pepper. Pagkatapos, nagyan ko ng butter. Maraming, maraming uh, garlic. Alam niyo naman. So, I'm just, uh, I'm making this simple. And then, ito na yung 3 um, cups of rice. I'm using uh, chicken stock. And then, um, muna, nagsutay muna ako ng... Um, garlic and onion and nagay yung 3 cups of rice just regular rice hindi uh, bomba rice kasi yung regular lang na ginagamit natin mm. yun lang tapos naglagay ako ng 1 uh, cup na white wine pero tapos naglagay ako ng kalahati nitong crushed tomatoes and salt and pepper and I'm just gonna and then uh, butter I'm just letting the grains to go soft yun lang ginagawa ko habang Filipino style na paella, yung ano, um, okay sa panglasa na pamilya ko. Tapos, ito yung ano, tapos, um, instead of kilbasa, oh, hamunado na langunisa. <laughs> Di ba? Cooking is an art. You don't have to follow direction for as long as the people that you're cooking for will enjoy it. You know that they will enjoy it and they will love it, then go for it. No? So yeah, yan na yan. Okay. Wait lang kayo ha, hold on, and then I'm gonna cook the rest and I'm gonna show it to you. Sali na natin dito. For now, it's just Christmas Day here in um, the United States. So, okay. Same pan. Okay. I seasoned the, um, this already, so hindi ko na isi-season yan, baka umalat. Ito yung ating squid. Pusit. Mm. Totally optional, everybody. Dry white wine. I am not following the traditional way of cooking the paella, but I know this will taste good because I cook it. <laughs> Alright. Alam nyo naman, ang pusit pagkatapos nyo hugasan, it takes, what, two minutes to cook? Look at this, everybody. Yeah. Ground pepper. Nakapadyama pa po ako walang cooking. And um, let the celebration begin. Alam nyo na kung ano to, na na? <laughs> okay. Two minutes. Pasok na natin dito. Pasok! <laughs> Yun yung uh, malalaking shrimp. And then, isa-isa nyo lutuin yung inyong ano. Yung inyong uh, topping. So, balik ulit. O, pagkatapos niyan, half shell. Properly thawed. Mussels. Mmm, yan. Counting lemon juice. Kung walang lemon juice, kalamansi. Yan, yan. O, ito, medyo mga 3 minutes to. Okay? If you will be asking me ano pong klaseng white wine ang nilagay ko dito sa ating um, grains when cooking my version of paella, eto ang ginamit ko, na, I think $9 or $10 lang ito sa Smith's dito sa Las Vegas. I use one cup. Dami, no? Yeah. And saffron. Ay, sorry po. Nalimutan kong i-video while I'm transporting the um, <laughs> muscles into a container. Sineseparate ko. So far, nakita nyo na may shrimp. Meron siyang calamari right there. At saka yung tahong. Yan ang aking um, topping sa aking quick paella. Ito naman. Oh, pinapalambot pa natin yung grains. Parang nagsasahing lang kayo. You know, it takes a while to cook the grains. Kasi hindi naman siya parang ibinabagsak nilang lahat. Dapat talaga, pinahalo nyo yan. And then as you add your chicken stock halo lang kayo ng halo hanggang sa lumambot na yung grains 
Imagine nyo gumagawa kayo ng biko. Parang ganun. Halo lang siya ng halo. And then, tikim. You know, adjust it. And if you think it's drying out before the grains um, get soft, then by all means, slowly add your chicken stock. Or if you don't have chicken stock available, then too big. Water will just be fine. Okay? Let's continue. Ang tunay na paella po, hindi ganito kabasa. Normally dry siya. Kapag uh, I've been to quite a few restaurants where they serve um, paella, hindi siya ganito na basa. Kaya lang, ang ginagawa kong paella is uh, ayon sa panlasa ng mga kakain. That's how I cook the dishes. Para magustuhan, hindi yung kung ano yung tama, right? So, hindi ko rin tululutuin. Normally, gagarnish lang to sa taas kapag ka-ready na. No? So, almost ready na to. 95% malambot na po yung grains. Pero, malata pa siya. And that's how my family wants the paella. So, lalagay ko lang yung red bell pepper dyan. Okay? Hindi ko pa siya papatayin. Kasi, papatayin yung apoy. That's what I meant. <laughs> okay? So, I just turned up the heat. Ito, rotisserie chicken lang to everybody, okay? Ang paella po, may rabbit. Eh, hindi naman kakain ng family ko ng rabbit. So, may natira ang rotisserie chicken. And then, instead of kilbasa, I'm using hamunado longganisa. Hmm. Hmm. Yan. Tapos, these are all the seafood. So, ngayon, idadagdag ko na siya doon. Or I think what I'm gonna do is I will transfer this into a nice um, big paella pan or malaking uh, flat na uh, caldero o kawa. Tsaka ko siya ilalagay kasi hindi ko naman ito dadalhin sa, sa party namin. So, igagarnish ko ito and then I will show you. Oh, by the way, lagay na natin itong semi-frozen peas right there. Pero para sa inyo, tatapusin ko na yung konti. Just so alam nyo na kung ano pa paano nyo ipipresent. Yan. Sauteed po set. Um, the shrimp. Hmm. In fact, ilagay na natin lahat. There you go. Yan ang aking quick seafood paella. Hindi pang karaniwang um, way pagluluto ng paella. But good enough for my family. Always remember, kailangan ang lulutuin nyo magugustuhan ng mga kakain. Enjoy! Sana po yung nagustuhan nyo ang aking version ng paella today. Until the next video, bye!